I didn't actually know that the council offered stuff like this. Obviously the council were heavily involved in that. What's the first thing they do? They call their local council. The closer you are, the more we care. Welcome to the District Council of Loxton Wakery. Nearly 10,000 kilometres in size, with around 12,000 residents, our district overlaps the Mallee with the beautiful Murray. With tourism an important part of our economy, we need to use our water wisely, and here's how we do it. We have too much or too little, so unfortunately we have years of drought, and then we can also have extreme flood, and uh, that affects a lot of our town. So we were in a situation where we wanted to both harness the water when it came in, and manage the water when, once it was here. We originally only had two or three basins, they were soakage pits, the infrastructure was ageing so the stormwater when it came in sort of ran into the river, we didn't manage it, it just went in there unharnessed. What we've actually done is created ten basins, all of them lined, where we're now capturing all of that water so we have managed to uh, reduce 330 meg of water that we needed to use from the River Murray down to zero. What we use it for is all of our irrigated public open space areas. We actually have 10 sporting facilities within our region and being able to make sure that all of our huge sporting community are able to use great facilities is number one. We need to provide a uh, you know, good safe environment for our kids and even our adults. So yeah, we're very fortunate this able up the standard in, in that respect. At the moment it's providing a, a good watering mechanism for us and it keeps our oval up the standard and, and looking magnificent. Any sort of support in the country is, is, the, uh, is the main guts of country living, I guess, and um, if the council can get on board and help out for these facilities and make it more usable for everybody, well then that's, that's certainly fantastic. My role in this particular project is that I'm chairman of the Recreation Ground Trust, which has its responsibility for maintaining the gardens and development and, and maintenance. And so in this heritage park, uh, we have tried to, as much as possible, show where the, the community had started and then to finish off to where it is today in its beautification. We had to sell this to the people living close by as well as to the ratepayers to explain to them we're spending $9 million in addition to getting funding from the federal government, from the state government, from the local government, the rest of it's coming out of ratepayers' pockets and they need to be happy that, yes, we're putting in a sustainable water system, but this is for the future, not just for now. We drew up a plan of what we wanted to do, where we wanted to move the water from, and I suppose where our, ours is different is that we do have that mix of both effluent as well as rainwater being uh, mixed together and then brought back in. We have an entire range of linkages, mixing all of the different ponds together, so when an extreme weather event's coming in, we empty all the ponds to the great big reservoir, they therefore flood proof the town and then once we need it for irrigation the water's brought back in. It's easy to chuck a pipe in the river, suck the water out and put the water over all of the town and make it look fantastic. This required planning. Us not extracting water is obviously fantastic for the river system. In addition to that, water that used to run uncontrolled into the system th uh, through our infrastructure, stormwater infrastructure, it was going uncontrolled, so it was actually quite dirty. It's now being put into the uh, pond behind me before it's actually going back in via irrigation. If you lived out in the Mallee, in a harsh environment, the middle of drought, in the middle of a dust storm, it's very depressing, it's very harsh out there. But to come into a beautiful garden um, it's just good food for the soul. What I like is the project we've just discussed and a lot of the ones I do, they're actually helping the community, not just now, but into the future. And I plan on being in this community as well as my children for some time. So knowing that we're thinking of the future, um, I think it's really important. Plus I find it fun, plus I also get to uh, <laughs> do really exciting projects. For career opportunities with your local council, visit careersincouncil.sa.gov.au. Councils get close to the things that matter to you.